Connecting HubSpot and Gmail or Google Workspace are two of the most important things you can do to power your productivity in your inbox and not have to switch back and forth between HubSpot and your Gmail. So let's dive in and see how to do that and make sure your settings are set up correctly. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So here inside of HubSpot, if you navigate to settings and general, you've got this area that has profile and then click on the email tab. Now from the email tab, we're gonna click on connect personal email. Now sometimes this catches people off guard because they think personal email, this is actually the work email that you would use personally to connect it to HubSpot. So in this case, it's my simple strat email. So I'm gonna click connect personal email. I'm going to turn on my inbox automation and then click connect your inbox. So go ahead and enter your email address and then I'll go ahead and connect to Gmail. So you're gonna to have to read through the terms here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And we'll have to re-log in. It's gonna ask permissions, click allow. And then we've got the inbox connected. It's gonna say it's complete, wonderful. So a test email is going to go ahead and get sent to make sure everything is set up correctly. If you run into any issues, you might need to talk to your Google Workspace administrator, but for the most part, it's going to work pretty slick. You do wanna use the extension. That is what's gonna make it possible for you to have that powered inside of your browser. So I'm gonna click on download extension. And for me, I'm actually using that here inside of um, Google Chrome. So I'm going to download that here. It's gonna open in the Chrome store. I'm going to add it to Chrome and then add the extension. It's gonna function similarly if you happen to be on Microsoft Edge or Safari or Firefox, but that is how that works. So now that we're in the unbox, you'll see that it's gonna refresh and it's gonna to wanna to give you a tour, which we're going to skip that for now. And the way that I know that this is connected is I've got this little orange HubSpot in the top right corner. So if I click on this little orange HubSpot in the top right corner, it's going to give me all the settings that I would need to manage HubSpot syncing emails and activity to my inbox here inside of, of Gmail. So if I click on log and track settings, you'll be able to see that it's going to automatically log and track every email. If you'd like to associate it with certain things, objects inside of HubSpot, you can choose those here. And then we also have never log emails, which in our case, we choose a never log emails for things like finances and accounting, stuff like that. But we've got a different video on how to keep certain emails or track log and track settings set up appropriately so that you manage that. So watch that video if you haven't yet. But you can go ahead and toggle those on and off. We've got all these different things here in terms of the email integration settings. This one will open in your HubSpot. There's some troubleshooting. And again, you just wanna make sure that you got this little green dot to make sure it's powered appropriately. And then we've got the right account synced here as well. Now, when you go to compose an email, here's what it's going to look like. So now that we've got this email synced with HubSpot, we've got all of the HubSpot functionality right here inside your inbox. So now you shouldn't have to be going back and forth between your CRM to log an email and send one from your inbox because it's already right here. So I'm gonna send an email to a test here. And you'll notice that I've got templates that I can search from here inside of my HubSpot. I've got meeting links that I can insert into an email. I've got tasks that I can schedule for this person, but this only is possible if that person's already in HubSpot. So if they're not, what you're going to see is over here under the log and track settings, you can see that this contact is already in HubSpot because we've got contacts pulled up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just enter a test at 123.com email, perfect. And then you'll notice that over here, we don't have any records of this person in HubSpot. So if I were to send this and this were a real email and I was to hit send, it would actually then log this into HubSpot, the email would create a new record and now I've got everything that I just corresponded about right here in my inbox. So real quick, another thing that this makes possible is the ability to use your calendar with HubSpot and use those meeting links. If you need help figuring out the scheduling links, we've got another video about that, you can watch that. But really that's all there is. If you're syncing your HubSpot with your inbox, there's a definite guarantee you will have higher productivity and you won't be bouncing back and forth. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.